Hi, I'm Catherine Chow, Director of Research and Innovations at Google. Mobile devices are essential to delivering data-driven healthcare, particularly in low and middle income countries, or LMICs for short. Today, I'd like to share with you our work with the WHO and mobile developers to de build an SDK, or a software development kit, that makes it easier to develop data-driven apps for community health workers. Community health workers often form the bedrock of healthcare in LMICs, where about half of the population lacks access to vital healthcare resources. These frontline workers who are embedded in the communities are the cornerstone to connecting patients with essential care. They take on jobs ranging from maternal and child health care to malaria prevention to helping families access health information. Over the past few years, smartphones and mobile apps have become invaluable care tools for community health workers. They support community outreach and home health services, including triaging patients by accessing immunization and care records, conducting health screenings, and distributing medications. Today, community health workers have these services at their fingertips, helping them deliver accurate and timely evidence-based care. These efforts aim to improve health outcomes at a population level across these countries. With these services come a new set of challenges. Often, community health workers will have multiple apps or even phones to manage the same patient across different disease or outreach programs. Incompatible data and lack of interoperability leads to situations where decisions for patients are made with incomplete information. We're applying technology to help accelerate a paradigm shift, where it's easier to develop health healthcare apps that are seamlessly interoperable. By open sourcing and supporting tools that ensure the exchange of high quality data, developers can focus resources on designing applications to meet the needs of their local communities without having to worry about managing clinical content and data requirements for evidence-based care. To advance this mission, we're collaborating with the WHO and an ecosystem of tech providers to create an open source SDK. This SDK will help developers build secure mobile solutions using a patient-centered global data standard called FHIR, also known as Fast Healthcare Interoperability Resources. This in turn makes it easier for health workers to deliver data-driven care. With over 3 billion active Android devices globally, there's an opportunity to support a huge number of health workers and their patients. Some health workers often need to deliver care in areas with unreliable connectivity. We've designed the SDK to allow Android apps to run offline with no connectivity by storing and processing data locally. The Fire SDK is part of our mission to democratize access to high quality care through mobile devices. Let me introduce a key partner in this work, Dr. Garrett Mel, Head of Digital Health and Innovation Unit at the World Health Organization. Thank you, Garrett, for joining us. Can you share a little more about the WHO's vision and how developers are using the SDK? Hi, thanks so much for having me. I'm happy to share what we're doing at WHO to make things easier for developers. We want to bring evidence-based care to healthcare workers everywhere. First, we're helping our member states with care guidelines. These guidelines consist of life-saving interventions. Our approach applies to those already investing in digital transformation. Guidelines are designed to capture rigorously tested and adapted clinical and public health recommendations. Our goal is to provide an easier way to adopt high-quality, evidence-based care guidelines into digital systems. Now, translation, we know, has been a challenge. We need an accurate translation of narrative guideline recommendations into executable digital systems, and it's difficult. It's both resource-intensive and prone to mistakes. We have focused on updating guidelines for the digital era. We call these digitalized guidelines smart because they're standards-based, machine-readable, adaptive, requirements-based, and testable. So we've embraced open standards like FHIR to support interoperability across patient-centered healthcare applications and CQL for consistency in calculating decision support and indicators. 
It isn't yet easy to build software that can make use of digitized gu smart guidelines. So to solve this, we've engaged the community and collaborated with Google on developing the Fire Software Development Kit. We think this will make it easier to bootstrap healthcare applications with smart guidelines, offline capabilities, and mobile-first functionality. Take, for example, WHO's MCARE project. This is a project that's leveraging the Fire SDK to develop a reference software platform. It's focused on healthcare for children in emergency settings. So when we combine smart guidelines and the SDK, we enable technologists to accurately integrate evidence-based content and allow that interoperability. This is an open source and open standards approach that'll ensure every country's digital transformation has access and can leverage the latest care recommendations to deliver essential interventions to all. Thank you, Garrett, for the insights into where we're headed. In addition to partnering with the WHO on accelerating the development of next-generation mobile-first tools for data-driven healthcare, we'd like to share some examples of other innovative tech collaborators who are currently doing amazing work using the Fire SDK to help community health workers better connect with their patients. One example is Ona, a team working in Liberia building a Fire Native health app for frontline workers doing health and humanitarian relief efforts. IPRD Solutions is a healthcare technology group that we partner with to enable health innovations. This partnership helped over 2,000 community health workers allocate malaria prevention nets to more than 700,000 people in Nigeria. And finally, Lattice Innovations, a health tech solutions company based in India, is joining the state of Tamil Nadu's Population Health Registry Consortium. They're building a community-led health screening and primary care mobile application that will help fulfill the state's vision to provide data-driven health care for all. We look forward to engaging with these and other regional app developers in our mission to empower community health workers and enable equitable access to high-quality care.